episode number 260, I showed you how to update the user's browser in real time using Fay. Now Fay is really great, but it can be quite a bit of work to set up, especially if you want it fully secure and locked down. So this motivated me to create this gem called Private Pub, which is built on top of Fay. And my goal here is to make it easier than ever to publish and subscribe to real-time events in a Rails application. Let me show you how it works here. So the application we'll be working with here is a simple chatting application where you can type in a message and then hit send and it will create that message and then update the browser here through Ajax. Now the problem is if there are multiple chat clients, they won't be updated in real time when a new message is sent. For example, I have two browser windows open here to the same chat application. And if I try typing in a new message here and click send, it's only going to update this one browser and not the second client back here. I actually need to hit reload here to see the new message. Now there are a couple of solutions to this problem. One is to have each client pull for new messages every couple seconds, which is usually not the best way to go. Another option is to hold a socket connection open to the server, so that way the server can push new messages to the client as they come in. That way they really happen in real time. But the problem is that Rails architecture isn't really set up to handle long requests like that. But that is where Fay and Private Pub help out. But before I get into that, let me first show you how this chat application itself works. So let's start on the view template for the page you were just on, which displays the chat messages and a form here for creating new chat messages. And notice I'm passing in remote as true here so that this form submits as an Ajax request. And when the user submits this form, it's going to go to the messages controller create action here because this is on a message model. So here's what this messages controller looks like. And the create action here is very simple. It just creates a new message record. And notice there's no response here because this is actually going to render out a JavaScript template because it's an Ajax request. And here's what that js.erb template looks like. So what this JavaScript does is append the newly created message to the chat and then clears that chat form. Now what I would like it to do is broadcast this message out to all the chat clients so that it appends this message to each of them instead of just the one that made this request. And we can use the private pub gem to help us do this. So the first step is to go into your gem file and add the private pub gem into here. And then run the bundle command to install it. And this will install Fay as well along with its dependencies. Next, run the rails generate private pub install command to generate the config file and a rack of file for starting the Fay server. Now you can start up that rack server by running this command and you could just copy and paste this from the private pub readme. So this will start up Fay using the thin server in the production environment, which is necessary to get Fay working. The last step is to go into your application JS file in a Rails 3.1 app and add a call to require private pub here. If you're using Rails 3.0, you can just include the private pub JavaScript file in your layout. All right, now that we have private pub set up, it's very easy to subscribe to a channel and then publish update notifications to that channel. What you have to do is go into your template file that's rendered in the browser, such as this index template here where we display our chat messages and call subscribe to, and then pass in a channel that you wanna to subscribe to such as slash messages slash new. And so the format of a fade channels is like this where it kind of looks like a path. And then next you can go into any JavaScript template where you're rendering an Ajax request, like the one here where we're appending the new chat messages, and then wrap any JavaScript in a publish to block, and then pass in a channel such as the same one, messages slash new, then pass in a block here. And that means that this JavaScript won't be just handed back to the client from the Ajax request, it's actually going to be published out to all the subscribers to that messages slash new channel. So now with that change, let's try this again with the two browser windows open. Let's try typing in a message, click send, and it works. And now it updates both browser windows because they're both subscribed to that channel. Awesome. Now you may not always wanna to publish to a channel directly from inside of an Ajax response like this. For example, what if you wanna do this in your controller inside of the create action you wanna publish directly from inside of here? Well, you can do this anywhere in Ruby code. You could just call private pub.publish2 and then pass in the name of a channel such as messages slash new, and then pass in any JavaScript code you want. Let's say alert the uh, message content inside of here. 
So now when I try typing in a new chat message again and click send, it's going to give me an alert dialog actually twice because it's going to update this on both of the browsers. Now if you prefer to work with JSON data instead of JavaScript code like this, you can do that too. All you have to do is just pass it an object other than a string, such as maybe a hash. We can set a message to the message object, and that will be converted to JSON. Now if you go with this approach, you'll need some JavaScript to handle the JSON. And I'm going to do this inside of the messages CoffeeScript file. What you can do is call private pub dot subscribe inside of here. And then this takes a channel name such as messages slash new, and then a callback function which takes the arguments data and channel. And then you just pass in a function into here. And so this function will be triggered every time it receives some JSON data on that channel. So we can alert to this and say, let's alert the uh, message content that was passed in through JSON. So let's try this out one more time, this time uh, from a JSON response. Let's send this out. And this time we get an alert saying from JSON because it's actually going through a JSON request and triggering that callback function in the client side. Now one key motivation for creating private pub is that channels are private out of the box, which means you don't have to worry about users listening in on channels which you do not explicitly subscribe them to. So this makes it really easy to create some kind of private chat room, for example, that only users who are able to access it with a subscribe to call or actually can listen in on that channel. And you can also choose to expire subscriptions after a given period of time so they don't continue to listen in after they've logged out. Uh, check out the configuration for details on that. Well, that's it for this episode on Private Pub. Uh, be sure to check out the README for further details, and also it's somewhat of a newer gem, so be sure to let me know if you run into any problems. Thanks for watching, hope you find this useful. In the pro episode this week, I will show you how to build a Rack application from scratch using a number of great features that are included right into Rack, including a request and response objects, a slew of middleware, and even ways to test it using mock request. To watch that episode and all other pro and revised episodes, just head on over to railscast.com pro and then sign up there for just $9 per month.